I'm Ken Napsok, and welcome to Motivations with Ken, your source of inspirations, motivations, and advice to not quite get you through the week. That's right. This isn't going to work. But I want to talk about the little things you can do to give yourself joy to get through those tough times. We've talked about it before here at Motivations with Ken, but sometimes when you least expect it, depression will show up like an old friend, uh, you know, one of the ones from college that shows back up at your doorstep wanting to reform the band, and then they stay on your couch, and, and then they won't leave for weeks. Depression can sometimes be like that. And what do you do? How do you get through those dark times when that overwhelming sense of dread grabs onto you like an eagle with its talons into its prey? How do you survive? I say it is the little things. The little things in life, that's what we celebrate here at Motivations with Ken. For instance, just the other day, I did one of my favorite things. I fell asleep in the shower. It's not easy. It's actually a skill I list on resumes. You just kind of let the hot water boil up, steam up, keep all the doors closed, lean your head up. Make sure, oh, one of the key, make sure you have like those grippy stickers for old people and you just make sure that, and then you won't slip and break your neck and you can just lean up against the cold, kind of soon to be hot shower wall, and fall asleep, pass out. I guess it's technically passing out. I, I think it's sleeping, but just that, just that little joy gets me through the day. You know what? You had a well-balanced meal plan tonight, a little chicken, some broccoli you made, maybe a potato, some sort of potato, like a mashed, maybe that's not healthy, but maybe like a, like a, I don't know, like those little, little tiny potatoes with like parsley on them, they seem healthy. Maybe you have that, and you're doing that because you're trying to be disciplined and dedicated to health, but you know what? When depression's around, you don't need to do that. Go ahead and get a pint of ice cream. You know that pint in your fridge right now, your freezer that you were going to like spread out over a couple days, eat it all as a meal replacement. Do it and don't look back. Don't look back. Or sometimes what I like to do is pretend to be a Jedi. That's right. I put on this cape, I put it over my head, and I walk around my house and pretend to be a Jedi helping the galaxy. Honestly, I do it. I find that when you do those little things, the big things don't seem so big. So, take my advice. When you're down and out, just pretend to be a Jedi who eats ice cream until he passes out in the shower. I feel better already. What's happening?